This is a, a really simple little fly and it's a quick tie. You would describe it as an ammunition fly, in other words you can tie it up in seconds, you can tie a lot of them. Um, but it's a fly that does really well for grill and on trout. Now most of us these days tend to fish with jig hooks, however there's a lot to be said for bugs, grubs. Um, you call them bugs in Scotland. They're basically curved hooks, got that profile very much like a sedge. Um, and that's kind of what appeals to the to the fish's nature. It's like a it's a silhouette that they're used to seeing. And it's exactly the kind of stuff that they're eating on a regular basis. So um just a case of getting the size right. You can use various colours on the thorax here, but this is this is my my version. And it's a peacock dub pheasant tail. We can exchange that peacock dub for different colours. Yeah, very simple flat tie, so let's go ahead and tie it. So I start with a size 10, 10s and 12s for this, it's a big fly. Um, most of the, the pupa and stuff that you're looking to copy is um, quite big. Although in the winter they will get a bit smaller, but the general sizes are 8, 10s and 12s. And I've got here a, a countersunk bead, this is copper, so a copper bead. I'm just going to place that in the, in the vise here, straight, like so. So that was just a 3.2 copper bead, plain black tying thread, just coming behind the bead, and then just work your way down the body. You didn't want to go on too far around the bend, just a little bit round, like so. And we hear a lovely long pheasant tail um, given to me by somebody that goes shooting. What a difference that makes. You get an older bird, so you get a longer fibre. So I'm just going to place that there, grab myself some gold wire. And I'll catch that in on my side of the hook shank. Sorry, your side of the hook shank. So, so. Cut the pinching loops and then get the length of the tail that you require. Doesn't want to be too long. Doesn't want to be too short either. That's too short. So back in again. Again. That's a bit fine. It's better and then just come back on your cell to catch the the pheasant tail in and then this is the awkward bit because the way I've got my light etc this goes opposite way to your third wraps because I want the rib to stick out so just coming up and touching turns here making sure it's as nice and even as you can get it up to a bit near the bead and then just lock in there with your thread another couple of locking thread wraps <clears throat> in with your scissors and trim that away so when I'm tying anything that can ping back out I stick a locking thread wrap in there so with my gold wire I'm going to come around and in nice even turns, open turns, but even turns, come out of the body, stopping it a little bit where the pheasant tail is, like so. Come in, it's a nice soft wire this, so it's easy to break. Now, there's various colours of this stuff. Um, peacock dub, I've got it in greens through to peacock, through to black, um, but this, it says it's orange, but it's very, very far from orange. It's this weird red, rainbowy hue, absolutely phenomenal. And what you do is, you dub on and then come back through your, your dubbing. I'll show you what I mean. So, really tight rope here. Like 
really, 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 really tired. I'm going to go too much on there. I'll soon find out. And then what we do is we wind, button it right up tight against that bead and come down to where the body is, where the body stopped. Yeah? And now all we've got to do is really tension the thread. Be careful not to snap it. It's come through. Come through all that dubbing. Right through, get that thread right in there. And then park it, you'll feel a little bit of space in the bead. And we just come in with a dubbing brush. Or as I like to say, Velcro. I just push those fibers back and it kind of cloaks that pheasant tail. Anything too long, just pull them off. And there you go, you got an awesome, awesome silhouette there. Really smart. And then it's just a case of a little bit of varnish on your thread there. Not much. Because what I'll do is I'll lock in just behind the bead there. So I'm going That's that locked in. Looking good. And then just come in with your scissors and snip that. Again, another little couple of strokes back. It just cloaks that pheasant tail really well. Um, just a really attractive flight of fish. And one that catches fish the whole world over. It's simple ammunition. So you can tie up loads of them. So there they're there. That's the, the peacock dub pheasant tail. A great fly for trout and grilling. Hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe to my channel.